Lots slowed down in 2020, but not fraud and scammers. Montanans reported losing more than $5.5 million to fraud in 2020. MTN's Marion Davidson has more on this concerning trend in this morning's Rebound Report. What starts as answering a phone call, clicking a seemingly innocuous link, or opening a legitimate looking email could end in a scam costing you hundreds or thousands of dollars. Um, we are talking a lot of money, and they happen daily. And in 2020, they happened more and more. The Federal Trade Commission got almost 2.2 million fraud reports in 2020, resulting in $3.3 billion lost. In Montana, the FTC got nearly 5,500 fraud reports, resulting in $5.6 million lost. And COVID-19 was just another opportunity for scammers. Scammers are using telemarketer calls, text messages, social media platforms, and door-to-door -door visits to perpetuate COVID-19 related scams, and even offering COVID tests and Medicare prescription cards in exchange for personal details, including Medicare information. Gilski works with the elderly in the Helena area. While they might not get defrauded at the same rate as other age groups, when they do, the losses tend to be much higher. For example, the median reported loss in 2020 for 20 to 29 year olds was $324. Now compare that to the $1,300 median loss for people 80 and older, and scams are underreported. We probably only hear about a tenth of really what's going on. What do these scams look like? When we think of the scammers, we think of that Nigerian prince, right? Or we think of misspellings and bad grammar. It's changed. Now it comes across and it looks so legitimate. When it comes to COVID-19, scammers offer things like tests or vaccines in exchange for money or personal information. Gilski has heard of it here in Montana. Scammers posing as contact tracers. Legitimate contact tracers will never ask for your Medicare number, financial information, or attempt to set up a COVID-19 test for you and collect a payment. Another big red flag, someone asking for personal information like social security, bank account, or Medicare numbers. Another warning sign, insisting on payment with cryptocurrency, wire transfers, or gift cards. And finally, if it sounds too good to be true, it really is too good to be true. Whether you lose money or not, report scams. That will help prevent others from falling for the same phone call, email, or link. In Helena, Marion Davidson, MTN News. You can report scams to the Federal Trade Commission, Better Business Bureau, or the Department of Justice.